Okay, here's some P-channel devices that I've um, fabricated in my home chip lab. Here's the setup I have. I have a lab su power supply with um, some voltage going through the transistor through an LED. And then I have my gate voltage that's hooked up to this wire. It's not touching right now. Then I have a resistor which is pulling down to the negative supply. The two supplies are hooked together, by the way. I have my substra uh, substrate ground hooked together to the negative side of the device. The positive side, I have a resistor to the LED into the device. And then this little, this side of the resistor is the gate, and there's a little jumper wire that goes over to the gate electrode. So if I take about 5 volts, well it's more like 6 volts is the RDS off on this device, and I touch it to the gate electrode, my LED will go off. If I can, there, on, off, on, off, on, off. Okay. Now, to show that there's no tricks, I'm going to disassemble this and show that there's no transistors hiding anywhere, that this was really a transistor effect, and then I will check the continuity of the, the gate to the source and drain to show that there is no connection there. It's not the power supply shorting out, for instance. So, okay, start disconnecting everything. Turn the supply off. Okay, disconnected. Here's the pull-down resistor. This was on here just so the gate wouldn't float and the transistor would be half on, half off and generate a lot of heat. Disconnect the power supply. So we'll get in close here. All right, so there's the resistors and everything. You flip it over. There's nothing on the back side. There's a substrate connection here that goes up and through and goes into that epoxy. Um, these other devices, there's five transistors. All right, so I have my cheapy voltmeter here on, so I can check continuity. It's in in the K ranges here. And so if I touch between source and drain, you can see there's some conduction there, 400 ohms, probably from, you know, really poor uh, doping and contamination in my device. Might expect a little bit lower, but um, if we go between the gate electrode and the drain, you can see there's no conduction there. So it really is a uh, insulated gate. FET in action here. Go the other direction to the source, the same thing. Substrate, same thing. High impedance. So, for all those that doubted that I could make transistors at home, there's the proof.